Hello friends, I hope you're having fun. Today I am describing a different topic but related with automation. So let's start. Magnetic flow sensors are a very commonly used flow meter type that is useful in a wide range of app, locations and line sizes. Accurate and repeatable measurement of flow is a requirement for industrial processes, including feed streams, tank recirculation loops, product transfer lines, and many others. In this article, we will introduce you to the working principles of a magnetic flow sensor. Dash describe the physical characteristics of a magnetic flow sensor that make it valuable for process control. Dash describe the ways magnetic flow sensors can be integrated into a measurement and control system. What is a magnetic flow sensor? Magnetic flow sensors convert the velocity of a flowing fluid into a measurable electrical signal that is proportional to the flow rate. Magnetic flowmeters have no moving parts or internal flow path obstructions, so they are easy to calibrate and maintain. Because magnetic flow meters are typically specified to be the same size as the upstream and downstream piping, there is virtually no pressure loss through the flow meter, which can be very advantageous for some flow streams, like thick slurries. So let's take a look at these properties and characteristics of magnetic flow meters. We will explain how they work, when to use them, and what needs to be specified to select the proper sensor for your application. Magnetic flow sensors are often called magmeters, and we will refer to them using this abbreviation. The magic is in the magnet. Let's look at the physical properties of how a magnetic flowmeter converts velocity into a flow signal that can be used in a control system. Previously, we mentioned that magmeters convert a velocity into a measurable electrical signal. How does this happen? Magmeters are typically full bore sensors, meaning that the internal flow path is of the same diameter as the upstream and downstream connections. This construction eliminates any restriction of the fluid which may alter the flow path or create a pressure drop. Fluid passes through the magmeter in a straight line through the bore of the sensor. This regular, cylindrical geometry also allows a constant and directional magnetic field to be established across the diameter of the flow path. The magic that creates the flow signal is based in the magnet. The magmeter is surrounded by an iron core, permanent magnet that creates a magnetic field to be established with lines of magnetic flux which pass vertically through the entire cross-section of the pipe and the flowing fluid. This geometry is very important. The flowing fluid will pass through these lines of magnetic flux at a 90 degree angle or perpendicular to the lines of magnetic flux. Faraday's Law. In 1831, Michael Faraday observed that a voltage is induced across any conductor as it moves at right angles through a magnetic field and that the voltage is proportional to the velocity of that conductor. This is called Faraday's Law of Electromagnetic Induction. To generate a voltage according to Faraday's law, we must have a moving conductor. What is the conductor in our flow application? We had mentioned that our magmeter has a stationary, permanent magnet, so the conductor must be the flowing fluid. And, indeed, it is. And as the flowing fluid passes through the magnetic field at right angles, according to Faraday's law, a voltage must be developed that is proportional to the fluid velocity. Faraday's law can be expressed simply as E is proportional to K times B times V times D, where E is the voltage generated in the fluid. Dash K is the meter-specific constant. Dash B is the strength of the magnetic field. Dash V is the velocity of the fluid. Dash D is the distance between the mag meter's electrodes. Signal transmission. The generated EMF or electrical potential, or voltage, is sensed by two leads, or electrodes, which are connected to the magmeter's transmitter. The transmitter translates the strength of this electrical signal into a volumetric flow rate and sets the transmitter's 4 to 20 milliamp output to provide an analog signal to the control system. Dot conductive fluids. But there is one key parameter that cannot be overlooked that we mentioned previously. We must have a moving conductor to generate the required electrical signal. We said the flowing fluid was the conductor, so the fluid must be conductive to work with a magnetic flowmeter. What does it mean for a fluid to be conductive? It means that the fluid must be able to conduct an electrical charge, thereby establishing a voltage that can be sensed by the mag meter's electrodes.